millions each year take personality tests to help them find the right career or job match. Right. They're using it online nowadays to help them find the right love match. And what we've done is we use the same approach to figure out the best way to lose weight, the best diet approach that's going to work for you. Well, in most diet books, you know, are not fun to read. They're not. You're reading about what you should and shouldn't do, about all the things you've done bad in your diet world and why you have this weight and why, why you can't lose this weight. Whereas our, our book is not about that. Our book is about learning more about you and what works for, for you. And so it actually is, is a fun read. Which is great because a lot of people approach dieting trying to struggle to change themselves to fit a right. diet instead of finding a way that fits them and their personality. For diet types, there's the planners, the players, the feelers, and the thinkers. And Heather is a player. And what that means is that I don't really like to have a lot of diet rules. I like to live in the here and now. I like to be able to eat what I want to eat. I don't want someone telling me, oh, you know, shop on this day and, and here's a list of foods you can and can't eat. It's about living in the here and now and, and having fun and finding a lifestyle approach that works for me. I said diet feelers. They're warm, compassionate, loving individuals. They seek harmony and personal connection. They're guided by their emotions, so really one of their biggest diet downfalls is emotional eating. Emotional eating is a big one for, for the feelers. So diet planners, they're organized, conscientious, dependable, dependable individuals. Right. They really like to follow the rules. They like to know what they should and should not do. They're so responsible that, in fact, sometimes on their list of to-dos, they put all their other responsibilities first, and sometimes their own health doesn't make their to-do list. Exactly. Diet thinkers, they're logical, analytical, really independent women. They like to be their own weight loss boss. They don't want anybody else telling them what they should do. They want to find out what they think is best for them and make their own decisions. Choices. Yeah. yeah, even if a dietitian uh, says this will work, that will work, they might look something else up online and say, well, I found this information. Right. What I think do you think this about might that? Work better. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So a question that we get a lot is, can you be more than one type? Can you be a com combo of two types or even three types? And some even say they can relate to all four diet, diet types. We'll have somebody tell us, oh, yeah, I can really relate to eating right in the moment. Which is a player. And then also say, but I can also relate to the emotional eating. Feeler. So each of us do have all four of the diet types in us to varying degrees. Right. But even though someone's a diet player and maybe Heather's a diet player, we're uniquely put together, as the saying goes, unique as a fingerprint. fingerprint. And the book is put together so that you find your unique combination, what fits you. So maybe you'll read a little bit in this chapter and in that chapter and find what works for you. We say th this is not some diet that you go on for a time period and then go off. It's a, it's a way of living to fit you and your personality. Right, because everybody needs the same foods. Everybody needs to eat well. They need more fruits and vegetables and whole, whole grains. And we all know that at this point. It's really about how do you stick to it for a lifetime? How do you make it stick?